We're here at Tech Cocktail delivering happiness at South by Southwest. And Nick, what do you you talk you talked about a couple different things you do. So can you just explain what your day to day is with yeah. Kaufman and Startup Weekend and your own uh, startup? Yeah, absolutely. So um, I do have kind of three things that I, I really focus on. Uh, I started a company a number of years ago with some founders based in Columbus, Ohio. It's called Dynamic. It's a digital agency. Um, I've been helping run Startup Weekend since 2008. Um, I'm now an advisor to the board and continue to run and facilitate weekends as we enter new countries and new cities and things like that. Um, my primary, primary responsibility right now is manager of entrepreneurship at Kaufman, the largest foundation in the world committed to entrepreneurship, um, dealing with initiatives, organizations that foster the entrepreneurial ecosystem in the U.S. Some of the people that I look up to the most are the people that I work with directly. That's not to say that I'm not exposing myself to other ideas, to quote unquote thought leaders and domain leaders, um, but I've worked really hard to build teams, uh, to find founders, to find coworkers and colleagues that I can look to every day that are you know, a million miles in front of me already. Um, they're pushing me, they're inspiring me, and I think that people are the biggest, most important part of a startup, of an organization, uh, and of a community. So the more I can find people that I can have contact with every day, outside of the folks that I'm reading, that I'm following on Twitter, um, those are the kind of people in the situations that can push me the most. People bring me into situations to say shoot holes into it, um, and so I think the people that I'm around the most actually counteract that in me. As cliche as it may sound, I think mobile computing is is really really important, and that's you know that's not just the iPad, it's not the iPhone. Um, I think it's interesting, especially in third world third world countries. Um, we're looking at countries where infrastructure steps are being skipped, right? We don't need to go through the infrastructure that we did in the U.S. We're allowing commerce to happen. We're allowing communication to happen. We're allowing, uh, you know, things we've obviously seen politically happen very recently. Um, and mobile commuting, computing is definitely working with that. I think that participatory models, whether it be technology oriented, or whether it be real time and real world um, oriented, um, are what matter. Um, my, my biggest thing that I would like to see is uh, kind of a social network or, or social gatherings that are based on time and place, so real space, um, without commitment down the line. So if I want to follow someone on Twitter, I want to follow someone on Facebook, I'm making a commitment to them, but maybe I don't want to do that. Maybe I want to interact with them in real time. Maybe I want to know about them here and now while we're here and then let that dissipate later on. And so I think that it, we will see things move in that direction where it matters where we are. Technology enables engagement, enables understanding, but we don't have to make you know an information commitment to them down the line. So I think that's kind of a trend that I would like to see explored. Actually, in terms of failure, it's probably more of a personal one, not not necessarily a business one. Um, interestingly enough, that I've kind of um, you know thrown myself into work um, and probably not taken as much time as I can or I should to to participate at a very personal level with the people in my life. I think that mentality is really important um, and uh, that's kind of like what I'm examining right now in entrepreneurship. Specifically, I kind of talked about the fact that there are a lot of things going on in higher education, there are a lot of things going on in private to educate entrepreneurs, to help entrepreneurs. Having the mentality of ownership and of sharing things is really important, I think. And, and when people want to start businesses and launch them here at South By or anywhere else, I think they have to understand that it's about changing the world. You know, I talked about inspiration at the beginning. I want to find people who want to change the world with everything they're doing. And I think having that approach is probably going to set people up for more success than it will failure.